guys, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be experimenting with mixing my own contrast paint. Most of you will probably have heard of Citadel contrast paints. They're the most popular games workshop paint, and considered by a lot of people to be the only Citadel paints worth picking up. So I picked up a pot of Shaiish purple to see what all the fuss was about. They're supposed to be a one and done kind of paint only needing one coat to achieve a high contrast and high pigmented finish, so great for speed painting your army. But I don't see why I couldn't make my own. All these paints are just a mix of pigment and medium in varying consistencies. So I'm going to start with some Liquitex acrylic paints, and thin them down with matte medium and flow improver. The medium is going to provide the body for the mix, while the flow improver will break the surface tension of the paint and allow it to flow into all the crevices and get rid of our brush strokes. I mixed about three parts red to one part blue, then added medium and flow improver until it was a workable consistency. I'm going to wait to reveal the results until all the models are dry, so let's move on to the next mix. I'm going to try these Green Stuff World fluorescent powder pigments. I'm expecting these to be super strong because it's just pure pigment. They haven't been pre-mixed with any medium, like the acrylic paints. I used about three parts purple to two parts blue. For the next mix, I've got some Liquitex inks. I used seven parts red to six parts blue. And finally, a kind of bonus mix using some powder pigments meant for nail art. I want to test out how strong the colours really are, and see if a cheaper pigment is going to yield a poorer result than the Green Stuff World pigments, or if they're basically the same. Again, I used three parts purple to two parts blue. So, let's take a look at the results. First, the Citadel paint, the acrylic paint, the fluorescent pigments, the inks, and finally the nail pigment. Well, this is my first time using a contrast paint. First impressions? Um, not sure. It has a good coverage for one coat, but it was really thick and gloopy. I know people say there are some good ones and some bad ones, so maybe this particular colour is thicker than others, but it's not actually that nice to paint with. The results though? It does what it's supposed to do. There is a massive contrast between the darkest areas and the highlights, which are almost white. There are a lot of tide lines though, so I don't think you can just slap it on and leave it like I did for the purpose of the test. It's also super shiny, much shinier than I expected. I'm not sure if I'm 100% here for that. So, my first mix, the acrylic paint. Nah. I think I added too much flow improver for a start, which made it kind of siss off the surface and ball up. But I think the real issue is that I used Liquitex Basics range, which is less pigmented than the more expensive ones. But the super pigmented ones are just so expensive that you might as well just buy the Citadel mix. If it's a money saver you're looking for, you're not going to get it here. Okay. Wow. I love this mix. It's nothing like the contrast paint but the colour is intense, and it has such good coverage. It's super matte, which I actually love. There's some drips again, but I think you'd get rid of those if you just weren't slapping it on. The contrast is good. The highlights aren't as bright a white, but I don't mind that. I can definitely think of some great uses for this, and it's getting me excited. I mean, just look at the contrast in the stick. It brings out the texture of the sculpt really well, just in one coat. So, these are the inks. As you can see, it's super pale compared to the others, and I think that's just because in order to get the right consistency with the medium, I had to dilute the ink too much to get a vivid colour. It's not a contrast paint, but I actually really liked working with this one as well. It's the best option for making your own washes, I think. As a wash over the top of another colour, it would be great. It feels like working with watercolour paint. The coverage is super soft and even, and the bones just look great on this model. It's not exactly what we were looking for, but I think it definitely is going to have some great uses. And the final mix, the nail powder. I'm actually quite impressed. It was again lovely to use, very similar to the other powder pigment in consistency. Less full coverage than the Green Stuff World pigment, but I think that actually worked in our favour here. It's a little more translucent, which has actually given the edge highlights more contrast. I think it would benefit from another coat though, just to tidy up those brush strokes. I actually want to give all of these another coat, just to see what a more even coverage looks like. So I'll just go and do that now, and let's see what they look like try.
I wanted to be fair, so I gave them all a second coat, even if they didn't really need it. So here's the Citadel contrast paint. We have a more even coverage. I think it does look a bit better. On the screen is a close up of the first coat on the left and two coats on the right. And the Liquitex acrylic. Yeah, still a no from me, just too blotchy. The green stuff world fluorescent paint. Amazing, I really love this. The color is just so vibrant. And the Liquitex inks. We've got some more dribbles now, but I think that's just because I wasn't being very careful with the application. I really like the softness of the texture on these. It's a thumbs up for the bone, especially for me. And the nail pigment still holding up pretty well. It's really smooth and vibrant coverage. So now that I've tested all these materials, I wanna make one last mix and see if we can come up with something really good. I'm gonna take my favorite material, the Green Stuff World Fluorescent Pigment, but this time I'm gonna mix two parts purple and one part blue and add a few drops of Raw Umber Liquitex ink. This is gonna dull the color down a bit, so it's more similar to Shaiish Purple. These were the two materials that felt the nicest to work with. They're super matte and they've got a really nice satisfying flow and coverage. Ooh, that's one coat and it's looking good. Very smooth, highly pigmented, without leaving a solid color everywhere. There's still a decent contrast between the crevices and the edge. Let's build up that color and give it another coat. Ta-da, here we are. I think that looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. If I bought this as a pre-mixed paint, marketed as a contrast paint, I wouldn't be upset. It's a lovely color and the sheen is just about where I want it to be. It's not really showing up brush strokes or tie lines. Here it is side by side with the Citadel paint. Personally, I think mine is better. I could be biased, but I think it's mainly the sheen. The contrast paint is just too shiny and plasticky looking. You could put a coat of clear matte varnish over the top if you wanted, but why do that when you can just use this other mix and skip that step entirely? Do I think you could just use these paints on their own and leave it as it is? Well, that's what the contrast paint is supposed to be for. I guess you could. The contrast paint genuinely does leave the edges very white, almost like a dry brush. My mix is a touch flatter. The contrast isn't as strong. I do think that with a dry brush and maybe a wash, you'd have a fully ready model, but that's not what I'm supposed to be judging on here. I mean, if I was literally just going to put two coats of the same color over a whole army and leave it like that, I know which one I'd rather have. I think looking back at all the others, the nail powder might actually be the closest to the contrast paint, just because of the range from the very pale, almost white highlights to the deep royal purple. It's picked up just as much detail, if not more. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below which mix is your favorite and what you'd use these for. Citadel, Liquitex acrylics, Green Stuff World Fluorescent Pigment, Liquitex inks, Nail Pigment Powder, or the special MTG Bella contrast mix, which I'll probably be using on my Tyranids. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of video, and if you did, I'll make some more. Until then, see you next time. Bye.